Hi everybody, Jo here again. Thanks so much for popping in. Today we're going to be making some bookmarks with the gel press and our new chalk acrylic paint. So plump up your cushions, get yourselves comfortable because we're going to have a play. Now here we've got one of my bookmarks that I've taken the prints look and it's just waiting for some finishing details. And here I've got one that's in our lovely plastic wallet and it's all finished. So I'll explain what I've used while we're waiting for our paint to just be perfect to use. So what we're going to do is we're going to start, I've got some copy of paper, got myself Billy Brayer and this is a spare one. This is my paint one and I'm coming in with my lovely Bob Long gel press and that's just the right sort of length look these are our lovely water colour card bookmark pieces that are already cut look cut to size perfect so none of that cutting out and we're going to use I've got some lovely new colours of acrylic paint I bought these at the extravaganza We've got vanilla custard, Parisian and spruce. And I'm going to start off, give them a bit of a shake. And this is the hardest bit for me, just putting on a small amount. I have to learn to be gentle. And with my brayer, I'm just going to pop that paint just randomly and we'll clean him on there. And the stencil is ambience and look, I'm just going to put it at an angle. If I put it that way, it just sort of slightly catches. So I like it at an angle there. And then, now you could use a piece of card for this. I'm just going to use a piece of copy of paper. You could use your, uh, your journal. You could use a tag. I just want to take some of that paint off. And I'll put that there and I can clean my brayer on that. So look, we've taken some paint off, but I don't want it to be even. I love the randomness of this. And then I'm going to come in with my lovely blue. And again, just a little. And then with the brayer, and don't worry, your stencil won't move. And I'm just going to mix that. I don't want it completely covered. I like it quite random, the way it's deeper in some areas than others. And if I want to take a bit more of the paint off look, interestingly enough, when you use your brayer look, you actually get some of the pattern of the stencil. So now I'll lift that off. And I'm going to put that in water because obviously the paint, I don't want it to dry on my stencil you know what I'm like I need to wash my stencil so just check my bray is nice and clean and then look at this and you can see we've got the pattern but we've got some blue here some blue here but it's nice and random so I just need that to dry before I take my print so what I can show you just again while that's drying we'll pop that out of the way so you need the um, the watercolour card that's cut to size, ready for your bookmark. And then we have the fabulous plastic covers that are ready. Again, perfect size. Now, the yarn I've used, look at that, the colours. Again, I just treated myself to this at the weekend. And I've not seen this colour before. I don't want to get paint on it and this one's called celestial sparkle look and look at those gorgeous colors so i'm going to put that back in the plastic cover just because i don't want to get paint on it as always i'm working on a tiny little square on my desk and i'm sure you're all the same and we just want that to dry so I'm just going to give that a bit of a waft. You can do two or three at once, you know, and actually use. So I've got one here on my squarely look 
and you can actually take your prints and then let them dry and do it in succession so you could almost have a, a, a system a bit of a I think that's nearly dry so we'll, we'll have a go with that so we're going to come in with a lighter colour now and I've gone for the vanilla custard Now this will be lovely for batch making. Now I don't want this too heavy, just a nice light. And just pop that in the middle. Now what I'm going to do is just put my copy of paper over the top so I can press it down. You're almost getting so many free prints with this. I love this because you never know exactly what you're going to get. I always like to have a bit of a peep to see if we're getting something. Yes, we're getting something. So we'll lift this off. Now again, you could have done this bit with card look and you would have had a lovely border there. So let's see what we get. Oh, look at that. How fabulous is that? And again, Sarah, I'm being good. Now look, I'm going to leave this, add some more white paint and take another print. I might even do the reverse on it and then just get the pattern down the middle. And I just sit that next to Eric. It's quite funny, my dish of water that my stencil's in is right next to Eric. So it'll be interesting if um, that ends up on the floor, won't it? Now, this dries very quickly. So to finish it off, all I've done, look, is got some of my elements, the dark denim. And I've just put some ink just on the white bit at the top look and then down the side and the blue ties in so nicely right round obviously I would do front and back but I only need to show you one and then with my fan brush because I don't, I want it to look, I love the patterns quite almost arty, the mono print. So I want my border to almost um, match. So if I just add some water, we'll mop this up. And we can move this out of the way now. And this, we've finished with all that. Oh, look at that look. That will never do, will it? So what I tend to do is when I've done this, just mop up with kitchen towel. I don't want to use my heat tool on it because I've put the paint and I like the paint to dry naturally. So if I just use a piece of kitchen roll. But you see, for me, I love how that now has blended that edge and I just think that looks lovely. Now on my original here, I've picked up a little bit of the pattern with my yellow poster. And I just wanted to add some little highlights. And I just chose a few of the shapes. And almost, now again, you can add color, you can outline them. And then I'm just going to add some splats as well. You can use your pencils, your watercolour pencils, your pastel pencils. Just go with the flow. You decide exactly what, where you want this to go. So I like that one. This edge here, because I can see it, that's where I'm going to put one of my stickers. And just to hide it, oh, let your thoughts go. That's a good one. So find my scissors. 
So I'm thinking that's going right across the bottom there. And you see how that just disguises that little join. So let me get, have I got three gentle? I love that. Nice word that I'm thinking. We'll have gentle in the middle over there. Then courage. That's a good one. We'll have courage here. Oh, not quite straight. Come on, courage. And then I just need one for the top. Creativity. That was quick for me. Normally takes me longer, doesn't it? Now I've got to think. I'm going to pop my punch a little hole at the top look for the yarn. So I don't want that too high. So I'll pop that there. Now, again, it's up to you. You can leave them like that or you can just take your black fine liner and I just like to add a little random border. And I'm going to turn this round because obviously my Posca isn't dry yet. And then all I'll do is pop that when it's dry into the sleeve, punch myself a hole and add some lovely craft yarn but like I say this one now this one I might even stamp I think I might stamp Pippin in that space there but again so many ideas and I have to say I couldn't resist having a go at actually taking a print the full size I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that yet but that's the fun of doing this. You know, you start off, I started off by making, I knew I wanted to make some bookmarks. And then I ended up making extra backgrounds. As I say, I've got my gel press here. That I'm going to take a print now. And I wonder what I'll do with that. Honestly, have fun. And I can't wait to see. Think of all the different stencils we've got. Think of all the different colours you've got, different combinations. But what a quick way and what an arty way to make a bookmark. And you know, you'll never make the same one twice. I've tried, look. No, mono printing. That's the whole name of the game. So thanks for joining me. I hope it's just given you a bit of something, a little bit different to try. And as I say, the bookmarks, they make such lovely gifts. Well, I think they do anyway. So you take care. Enjoy the rest of your week. Look after each other. Love and hugs from me. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.